In the original script, uh, Morgan Freeman and Brad, Somerset and Mills, are supposed to come in and actually find these 52 pictures that John Doe has left for them to find. And uh, what happened was is we actually laid them all out, and David Fincher said, Wow, Rob, I don't think we can show all these. There's no time. You know, he says, I, I actually think that we're only going to see a couple of these in the actual film. So he says, why don't you pick out your three favorite and hand them to Morgan? So that's what you actually see in the picture, and uh, which is unfortunate because actually uh, it's, it's quite a, a special uh, little gift that John Doe has left for the police. So, uh, you know, why don't we show them to you now? When we went through and we shot the 52 pictures, in the beginning, I, I, you know, had the actor, you know, just looking very dazed and, you know, even had him smiling in a couple of them or whatever. And then as the, as the days progress and he deteriorates, he just becomes more and more inhuman. There's a lot of uh, visual reference on uh, the, um, you know, uh, victims of the Holocaust and to do those images, you know, those, those, those poor people, uh, you know, sculpturally are uh, horrifying to look at in a way. And for a sculptor and an artist, you know, uh, <laughs> you know uh, they are uh, beautiful, you know, also to look at. So freezing into the night, we'd uh, have him uh, in a mock-up of the uh, Victor set, a small corner in my studio. And uh, we created the 52... Uh, picture transformation uh, uh, along with this uh, brilliant photographer Annette Helmick who actually helped us figure out a way to actually make the transformation happen in Polaroid and uh, uh, in that we didn't have a long time to do this uh, you know because you'd actually have to create 52 different sculptures uh, we only had time to really create you know like a series of prosthetics that could actually be uh, used uh, in different combinations to create that transformation along with some trick photography that uh, Annette brought to the table. So, uh, uh, you know, hey, what you see is what you get. The idea of sloth is, is that, you know, John Doe, uh, uh, you know, sort of found this guy, Victor, who is pushing drugs and using them. Uh, he actually just sits around and takes drugs and he sells them to people and makes a lot of sloths. You know, they all just sit around and space out. So uh, we'll, you know, find an empty tenement, strap him to a bed with some belts, you know, uh, put him on a morphine drip. You know, don't feed him, you, you know, and just uh, come in and visit him every day and shoot 52 pictures, you know, one a week, you know, on my little visit to, to uh, Victorville. And um, in that, you know, my, my theory, too, was is that, you know, uh, Victor is, is probably just very happy to be tied down to the bed in the beginning. You know, he thinks like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to, you know, go up to this room with this guy. I'm going to sell him some drugs and we'll just take some, <laughs> you know. And, uh, uh, you know, he ends up so high that uh, John Doe just lays him down on the bed and buckles him in and puts the morphine drip on. Victor's probably just giggling and, you know, going like, hey, man, what's going on, you know. And really isn't, you know, uh, uh, very mentally present about the time that's passing by. And he's happy to be in the bed, 